So Mike, what are they in here doing now? They're, they're doing their spawn? Well, they're supposed to spawn on the full moon and that's gonna be tonight, so it looked pretty full to me last night, so it could have been last night, but. Uh, it was the last super moon of the year. Yeah. <laughs> what they said. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We are fishing way north of my hometown. We're in North Carolina and we got Captain Mike Lundy with us. This is the home of the largest redfish in the world. This is where the world record come from. So we're gonna try to show you one of these big 50 pounders that old Mike's been on this past week. So we're using the poppies today. New little technique. I've never used the airhead underneath the poppy, but we're gonna see if it works. Hopefully a big 50 pound redfish. There's a fish. Yes, sir. That would be a redfish there. Let me cast back out there. That would be a redfish right there, brother. I think it's a good one too. That or it's a great big old sail cat. <laughs> a sail cat. There you go. He didn't even explode on it that no, hard. No, he it didn't. Was just, I think he just sucked it right down. Come on, get it. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. Good. <laughs> I wanted a double. He ain't happy about it, I know that. I'll put this away so I can kill oh. I'd like for him to wake up, you know, and then turn into one of them 50 pounders. Yeah. He's not fighting like he's all that big, though. Oh, what's he doing? What the heck is it? It's a sail cat. <laughs> it's not a sail cat. <laughs> It's a red. It's just a baby. <laughs> He's fixed to wake no, up. No, he ain't baby. That ain't no baby. That's that ain't no baby. A, look at that pig. Great day. That's what you call a grown one right there. Son. He's fixing to wake up, I think. He's mad now. There you go, into the wind. That's one like we get in the Indian River. <laughs> I want one like we don't get in the Indian River. Look at the spots on that thing. I believe this one has spawned out. You got him? Yeah, I got him. You lay him up here. Sit right up here on the deck. It's still damp from the rain, so we're all right. Look at the spots. That is a beautiful fish. How's that for a North Carolina redfish? <laughs> in Pamlico Sound. It's September right now and they're doing their spawn. And uh, this one looks to be spawned out. all spawned out. So I'm gonna get her back in the water. Ooh. As long as I don't go with her. <laughs> but one thing with these fish, just like in the Indian River where I'm from, they will get lactic acid build up in here. A lot of times people wanna go back and forth like this with them. But if you get them in a swimming motion, and just keep that lactic acid from building up, they won't cramp up and a lot of times they'll go right to the bottom and turn belly up. Come on, baby. One more time for you guys out there. Carry on. Off she goes. That's the way you like to see them swim off, huh? Absolutely. That, Absolutely. Was, a, that was a good one. That was awesome. Not quite the 50 pounder we're looking for, but you know, we're here in the Pamlico Sound where they live. And uh, I've heard many stories about this place when I was guiding back on the Indian River. There are some true Mogans that live right here in North Carolina. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with Captain Mike Lundy right here in uh, a beautiful sound. Well, this is what? This is the mouth of the Noose right here? Yeah, this is the mouth of the Noose River. This is the Pamlico Sound. The intercoastal waterway runs down from Adams Creek. Uh, wherever in the world it goes. <laughs> Just way north. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't, it's a big, big sound. Now, I was doing some reading about the Noose River and they said that it's the largest river mouth that dumps into the salt water in the United States. And it, it's two million years old. It was named after the, the Noosic Indians that used to be here back in 1585, something like that. Yeah. So it's been here a long time. It's a, it's a neat place. And yeah, I think what we ought to do right here 
give it a shot. I'm gonna put that DOA out and just drag it out the back and see what happens. Yeah, I, I think that would be a good thing. No oysters, the, the what, the shrimpers have taken care of that? <laughs> yeah, there's no oysters, <laughs> I promise you. It's showing a bunch of bait down there. That's good. That's the good. hummingbird be lit up. So fine, that original one. Oh, oh, the one on the back, the one on the back. It worked. Here, reel that in. Okay, I'll get it. Oh, 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 man. You think I need to get the trolling motor and chase him down? No, nah, not yet. <laughs> you got enough line? Hey, hey. There he goes. Ended up, uh, I, we didn't know if we are going to get a hit on the poppies or not, so. I just said, hey, throw one of those DOA swimming mullet out the back and let's just drag it. We were going through a bunch of bait. It was showing up on the hummingbird. So I uh, decided just to put one out the back and drag it along and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's a big in there, brother. And it's a mad one. Yes, sir. He's... <laughs> you know, I think on the next drift or after we land this one, we'll put two. DOA mullet out of there. there. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, we just got to look at you. He's mad. Look at that golden fish. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's the Mogan we're looking for. Come on, baby. Oh, beautiful fish. You mean beautiful get fish? You mean get him? You can grab him. Go ahead. God, he's just fat. Nice. Oh man. He was hooked perfect with that. There we go. DOA swoon mullet works everywhere I've ever been. Let me see that thing. Oh, he crunched my thumb. <laughs> he got me good, didn't he? That is a true mug in there, brother. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> nice fish. Nice fish. Tell you what, let's see how long he is here. I did this with a snook the other day. The snook was 48 inches. This one's about the same as that. So that's about a 48 inch redfish. That is a nice one. Oh. He was mad. Oh yeah, he's a lot thicker than that other one. That other one was just skinny. And off she goes. Well, that's one way to do it, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> that's amazing. We're gonna get re-rigged and uh, Hopefully catch you another redfish right here in beautiful Pamaco Sound with Mike Lundy. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. I figure after they spawn, they ought to really be hungry though, you know? After I'm spawning all night, I usually like to eat good in the mornings. Sun finally popped out. Well, welcome back folks. The sun's coming out. We got some beautiful weather coming up, so hopefully it's gonna bring these redfish and all this bait up. It definitely gets pretty here when the sun comes out. Yes, it does. But what's the best time to get up in here and get these guys? Well, you count on the middle of August into September. Right now is the second week of September and it's on pretty good. I say it is. They're here. Yeah. <laughs> They're is. definitely here. And then, you know, they spawn. This, you know, this is the time of year they spawn. They get up and full moon spawn and that's what's going on right now. It's, it's pretty back good. when I guided, I used to have a lot of clients that would come down from North Carolina, the, the Pamlico Sound here. Yeah. And uh, they like doing the redfish down there on the Indian River because it's, you know, it's almost the same size fish, yeah. but it's uh, crystal clear water there where you're catching them. Yeah, this this water is a little uh, little brown, a little you know, a lot of rivers dumping in from the Pamlico Sound makes it rich, you know. And these fish are exciting to catch, and you can't see them coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. There we go, boys. Right there, yeah, there next we to go. the boat, brother. When's it gonna take off? Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's what we're looking for, That's huh? what we're looking for. Right there next to the boat. Woo, baby, go! Let's see if he's got one following him now. Go! Go, honey, go! <laughs> Hot, no.
What a big one. The Indian River is the only other place I've ever had to chase a redfish. I won't hook you. Oh, look at that back. Look at that back. I saw him. Look at that back. No, he ain't got a buddy with him. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> Dog, come on. Said no matter where I catch a redfish, always love them because they pull. Boy, don't they? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. that's pretty. That's a beautiful fish. I gotta get in this tannic water and get stained up like an Easter egg. Oh yeah. I bet that one spawned out too. She didn't do much of a run, did she? She did a pretty good run. Look at that fat belly. Beautiful fish. There we go. Come here, baby. There you Woo, go. Hot dog. Mikey got him one on camera now. That's a pretty fish. That is a pretty one. Not many spots. Slack. Listen, listen to it. A little slack. Once again, the airhead switched up to the black and gold because the blue fish have ate all the white and red ones. <laughs> but uh, there's your fat little red fish. Beautiful. From the Pamlico Sound. You know what? I think we got time for maybe one more. Well, let's get it done. Listen to that fish go. Listen to it. That's a pretty spot. Yeah, it is. Check that spot out. Nice, pretty fish. You know what I noticed about these fish here? They don't have any uh, parasites on them. All those fish in the Indian River, they have that sea lice stuff on them. Especially when they get up about that size. God, that's pretty fish. Man, that's beautiful. And what's the size limits here in North Carolina? 18 to 27. I get mixed up because I go from state to state. <laughs> <laughs> so I get mixed up. 18 to 27, you allowed to keep one? One fish per person. That's the same limits Florida has. I don't think folks realize what we have here. Well, I think it's about ready, Mike. Yeah, let her go. Hold on. There she goes. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Good job, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Well, what we did, we were off offshore a little ways, and we saw some birds in here working and not seeing anything out there work, so we came where the life was, and sure enough, it was a redfish. Well, uh, what do you say we get rigged back up and do it again? Yes, sir. We Let's think go. We've got time for one more fish, so. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more addictive fishing. Mike Lundy, right here in the Pamlico Sound. We'll be right back. You know, what can I say? I've known Mike Lundy now for quite a few years. He was the waymaster on the FLW Tour when we won the championship and just throughout the whole FLW tournament series. And he always kept trying to get me to come up to Pamlico Sound up there where those big fish live and, uh, and catch them. And he finally said, hey, Blair, I got a new way to catch these fish. You got to come up with me now. And the key factor to catching those fish up there, as y'all are seeing, we are popping the heck out of these DOA deadly combos. And what it is, it's weighted perfect. And when you pop it through the water, it makes a sound like another fish hitting. And when they see a soft plastic hanging underneath it, whether it be something like this DOA bait buster, we were using airheads at the time, they eat it. But uh, that was the big factor in us catching the fish that day. Other than, you know, we kind of got lucky. It was rough out there that morning. And I said, hey, it's rough enough. Let's put a DOA swimming mullet out the back and just, you know, up on top of the T-top up there, we got those rod holders and it was popping it off the bottom just perfect with how rough it was. And uh, sure enough, it produced a fish. Like I say, you ever get a chance to go to Pamlico Sound? Awesome place to catch redfish. But remember one thing though, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and McGill. Poppy, poppy. I got many, many reasons why I like using these guys. Because they work about everywhere you throw them. Yes, they do. I got to get me another one tied on. That one destroyed it. <laughs> See if I can reach out and touch one there. Hey, you like them laser sharps? I love them. That one's a 5 aught swim bait hook laser sharp makes. 
Yeah, I, I like that. I love it. I love the way it lays in there. It lays in here really pretty. It makes the bait swim pretty. Pretty enough to catch a redfish. There's a fish right there. Where's? All right. How about that, brother? I, I was getting baited up from the last one. That's been, <laughs> what, 30 seconds now? Say, all we needed was one more. Great day. <laughs> I think it's a good fish. They're all good, but some are just better than the others. Man, he's, he's, he's coming right to us. it up. Nose into the wind, ain't it? Yeah, he's coming right into us. Ooh. There he goes. Oh, that head shot. Oh, I just saw him three feet down, so you know he's a good one. Music, baby, music. Well, I think I'm going to be thankful I got the eight footer on this one. The only other time I use the eight footer is usually when I'm out doing those floundering like 72 foot of water off Canaveral. Yeah. It's always nice to have it right now, isn't it? It sure is nice to have it right now. I saw him when he went by the boat. He, he took off a bit that way and ran that way. He had to right get, in the wind, get it right out from under the toe. Mother. You know, it is so weird. We're working popping corks in 15 feet of water, something I've never done before. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Ooh. Ooh, boy, he's thick. Oh, man. That's a, that's a dang one. good one right there. That's a grown one. That's a good one. Look how red he is. Nice Oh, fish. man. That's a grown that's one. That's the one that we've been looking for there, Blair. Look at that. That's beautiful. Well, it has turned out to be one beautiful day here on Pamico Sound. And I tell you what, brother. They don't get much better than that anywhere in the world right there. I tell you, that's beautiful. Not much better than that anywhere. Look at the size of that fish. <laughs> Boy, he ate it too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Here you go, grab it. I'll grab that fish too. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> that is a big fish. That classifies as a true Mogan there. That is definitely a Mogan. <clears throat> I had my whole hand in his mouth. Mm. What do you think? That's a good 48 inch fish. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. At least. At least. God, look at his whole body shake when he drums. Okay. That's a deep drum sound <laughs> okay. too, isn't it? He ain't gonna drum. He thump, thump. <laughs> there he goes. I think we'll get him back in the water here. Woo! Boy, it never ceases to amaze me. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love redfish. Absolutely love them. I got about 200,000 reasons why I like these guys. There you go. Look at him go. Oh, that, that was a pretty one, Mike. That was beautiful. Boy, that was quick. <laughs> I appreciate you inviting me down here to come and do this, or up here from uh, Florida. I'll tell you anytime. anytime. Absolutely incredible fishery that y'all got here in North Carolina. And if y'all do get around to banning the nets, it's gonna explode, absolutely explode. If y'all ever get a chance to come down here, simple, simple redfish fishing. All we're doing, using the deadly combo from DOA, putting the airhead underneath it. We're in 15 foot of water, and you can see we got about 40 inches of fluorocarbon, the good cigar fluorocarbon, it's 60 pound test, the water's a little bit dirty, and just using the airhead underneath it. Pop, 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 that's all we're doing. But uh, I have had a blast. I'll tell you what, who, who, nothing who, like it. Who would you recommend? coming up here and if they wanted to get a guide to come up here and do this. A friend of mine, Captain Dave Stewart. He's He knows everything about this place. He's, oh, and he's Mr. DOA here too, isn't Yes, he? sir. He is all about DOA. So he well, he knows thing. how to do it. And he, he knows how to put folks on Y'all come fish. here and catch these giant redfish if you want to. Also want to say thanks to the guys there at Oriental Marina and in. Tom and Joe, great place to stay. They got boat slips there. The skeeter fit in there great. And uh, heck, we were on the water like that this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Plug, you know, battery chargers up right there at the dock. Killer place. Don't forget about the website at DictaFishing.com, and we'll see you next week. I said I was walking down the street. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Look, it's a blonde airhead. Imagine that. <laughs> There's your fat little redfish. Also want to say thanks to Tom and who? Eating a tuna fish sandwich. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.